Have you uh, spoken to James Harden yet? No. You haven't. Did no. you? Did you? Have you thought at all about giving him a call or anything like that? Is well, what's the etiquette here? I mean, well, when it happened, you know, I didn't really know he was really that hurt until the day after. Right. Because you know, guys flop in the NBA, and so you don't really know. I knew that if I was to get some game, that would benefit Oklahoma. If they was to get me suspended and possibly for the playoffs. Yeah. You know, knowing that we would play them, so I didn't know what was happening. Then a couple of days he didn't play, so I called some third parties. You know, and they told me that he was I'm um, doing okay. So, so I found out right third, away. With you third checked parties. in with third parties to see but if But not with okay. him because I might have to play him in the playoffs, so I don't want to really talk to him. But I did make sure he was okay. But so you, you want to maintain whatever. You want to you maintain this edge. The Hulk. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, don't you think, I mean, he's still going to be, stay clear of your elbows, even if you sent him flowers, you know? <laughs> think. It's a tricky thing. I didn't realize you have to take it that far, that you can't just call him up and say, I'm really sorry that happened, yeah, and now was, I'll well, see it's, you. It's so competitive, you know? So it's like, I don't really want to, I want to make sure he's okay first, so I right. did that. But to call him, you know, knowing that he was going to be okay, I could not call him right now because we have games to play. All right, well, let's talk about that, first of all. You're not yeah. playing right now. you got a seven-game suspension. What did you think of that punishment? That punishment, uh, I had no, I really had no thoughts on the punishment. But it was just all the comments from like, you get a guy like, um, not him exactly, but a guy like Bill Ambert, who said, that was wrong, you should have never done that. You know, when this guy clearly in the 80s was like, played exactly how I play now. You know, I'm like a retro player. But it was a lot of guys, <laughs> I am. I'm like retro, you know, and I'm right. like, a lot of guys are making comments. Uh, so you thought there was people were being hypocrites that, that had yeah. done some of the same stuff? Yeah, there's a lot of hypocrites. You know, the, the regular media, I was like, okay, they can have their judgment because that's what they do. But then when you get a player that you play with, that you were in the same locker room with, that's talking about you on TV because he has this new job, some right. new gig or whatever, and he's talking about you, it's like, come on, man. You was in the locker room when you asked me to protect you. Right, so you, that people that you know for people a fact. I know for a fact. Behave the same way. That, you know, either did or was, you know, was uh, happy the way I played the game. Right. And then they on TV and they talking about me. People that called me as like they big, like their little brother, you know, just family. And you, to see them on TV, like bashing me, I was like, wow, okay. that's amazing.